get ready and some coffee. You know, Phil's been calling me a toxic white hetero man to our ESG investors again. That is our environmental, social, and governance investors. And honestly, me toxic? It's silly for crying out loud. Yeah, calling me toxic is as ridiculous as a modern day superhero, which is of course completely ridiculous. I mean, I hear Hollywood's plan is to make them not only ridiculous, but also ambiguous and ugly, which doesn't sound profitable to me. But maybe the ESG investors will like it. I don't know. I mean, look at what they did to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, April O'Neil. April O'Neil is not supposed to be shaped like a pear. I mean, on, honest, pararizing April O'Neil like that is going too far, Hollywood. You've gone too far. You can't go around just pararizing women like that. It's, 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 it's not nice tampering with turtle testosterone like that. I'll tell you what. Anyways. The point is that I happen to be a very kind-hearted and charitable person, not toxic. I mean, just yesterday, some bum said he needed to take a crap. And I was like, hey, hey, you don't need to take a crap. Yeah, I'll give you one of mine. Because stealing people's crap don't sound safe or sanitary. Yeah, I usually just flush him down the toilet anyways. I'm guessing he needed some fertilizer to start like a garden or something. To grow his own food, be self-sufficient, help the community, you know? Anyways, whatever. Who cares about the ESG thing? Anybody investing in ESG is headed for a bloodbath. By, by, by bloodbath, I meant bad returns on investment, Phil. Oh my God, Phil's calling the FBI now. We, we need to get this guitar lesson on its way before they take me to jail, charging me half a billion for bail.